hello welcome or welcome back to my christmas and winter series of nail designs today i am going to be showing you how to do a simple design using those chameleon flakes that you probably have sitting around uh, i'm going to be using finks from sandera nails it is my favorite black um, i was going to do just dip powder but i did not want to do that these are the four flakes that i'm going to be using they are chameleon flakes and i just kind of wanted to show you the shift they are from madkin beauty she has got so many awesome chromes and chameleon flakes that it is just amazing. So if y'all have not checked out her flake uh, collection or in general the flakes that she offers, go check them out. I decided that I was going to do, to keep it kind of Christmassy, I was going to try a new thing that I have not done. I have only watched. I'm going to be stamping with sticky stamping polish and I'm going to use the flakes to smudge on to the design to make them be the same color uh, and, not, and have them like turn the color of the flakes versus them just being the color that's stamped. I'm also going to be using a smudge brush which is my favorite type of brush to use for doing any kind of flake designs. It's like a makeup brush, a makeup smudge brush but these this brush is just for nails. It's got a fan brush on the other end that I like to use for glitters. Also, my handy dandy, simply elegant, no shine matte gel finish. I'm not going to use the outshine because as I was recording that, I realized that I needed this no shine because I'm going to be putting a stippy, sticky stamping polish on and you want that to stick to the sticky stamping polish, not the base of the nail. I'm also going to be using Madkin Beauty's gel base, no wipe top gel, and then the cuticle oil at the end. So... We are going to go ahead and get into this nail design. It is going to be relatively simple. So I'm going to cut out some of it just because some of it's unnecessary. And also this pearl color from Liquid Layers is absolutely gorgeous. If y'all have not checked out Liquid Layers, I totally recommend checking them out. The bottle holders are amazing. They hold it at an angle so you can use your dip powder. You can It'll hold all your bottles for you. It has a little lip at the edge to hold your bottle in there so your bottle's not gonna like fly out whenever you're pulling the brush out and it will sometimes catch a little bit on the inside. And then this color is a uh, blush, which is was an older color, so it's not currently available, but they have the color Morganite that's close to this color. So if you like the hand rest color, um, I would suggest grabbing Morganite. It's got like a pink peachish uh, tinge to it and it's not like a stark white like Pearl is. So I went ahead and I did one layer, y'all. This is one layer of that black. And then I put the matte top coat on the two middle na nails where I'm going to be doing the design. But y'all, this is one layer of that black only. I did not put anything else on except a gel base underneath to get my uh, gel to stick a little bit. But that's it. This black is amazing. It's from Sundara Nails. Um, you can use my code, Erica Nails It, at Sundara Nails to save you some money. Also... Sundara Nails is having a huge 12 days of Christmas sale. So if you're not in the Facebook group, I would definitely recommend getting in there because my gosh, they're doing a 12 days of Christmas all the way up through, Chris, through Christmas time. They're going to do it um, starting December 1st with the another 42% discount. Like crazy, right? So make sure you go check out the sales. Make sure you check out everything because it's always amazing. Right now, I am just opening up the flakes so that you can see the different colors, kind of trying to show you the color shift a little bit inside the container. They are so pretty, and you may think like these are really small containers, but like you don't really need a lot, as you'll see when I'm doing them. Um, there's also one more that I didn't use for this nail design. It's a green. Sorry, I had to yawn real quick. Because it's a long day, y'all. I haven't even been up that long, but it's still a long day. <laughs> so, anyway. Next, this finger rest. I was going to use the palm rest, but the palm rest was just a little bit too big for what I was going to do. So, this finger rest is like the perfect, perfect thing. 
So all I did was I tapped the smudge brush on my on the gel polish. Like I the the gel polish itself has a tacky layer, so I didn't have to put anything on top of the gel polish. But I mean, if you wanted to, you could put a layer of gel base and cure it just to have that extra sticky tackiness. But the gel polish itself had plenty of a tacky layer for me to just put the flakes right on. Now, I'm just tapping the flakes anywhere. I'm going to put a little bit of all of them on there. So I really had no rhyme or reason as to where they were going to go. I kind of wanted like a little ombre type look. I just wanted all the flakes on the nail and I just put them wherever I wanted to. Because then when the nail is fully covered with all the flakes, all I do is like burnish them in, just rub the smudge brush all over the nail. And I mean, that's literally it for this. This nail design is super beginner friendly. Like I'm trying to keep a lot of them like really easy. It's ones where you just like, you can't mess it up. Like I don't even know there's a way that you could mess it up because like there really is no way to mess it up. You're just putting gel polish down and you're just putting the flakes on and rubbing them in. There's no rhyme or reason to where I place them. There's no design. There's no nothing. There's just no way. Foolproof, I guess you could say. This is like a foolproof design. Like the swirls that I did, this is just a foolproof design that has no way to be messed up. And if you do mess it up, you're going to have to comment back and tell me how you did because I have no way of knowing how that would even be possible. <laughs> now, the next part with the stamping, I do know that stamping sometimes kicks people's butts um, I did turn the, the flash on at this point because I was like, they're missing the pizzazz in this. Like, this is like almost like a, a gothic type retro Christmas design. I just call it like a chameleon sweater design because, I mean, sweater nails are perfect for fall and winter, but I wanted to do something with these flakes. I didn't just want to use the blue. I wanted, I had an idea to just do like, put the flakes wherever. More dimension, more colors, always a good thing, right? So now I'm going to be using this stamping plate. Now this stamping plate makes sweater nail designs so easy because it's got all of them on there for you. All you have to do is pick it up and stamp it on your nail. Now I do understand that some of the lines are harder to pick up, but when you're stamping, honestly, it, it just takes the right like way to do it, like the right method to the madness to do it because I mean, I still mess up my stamping, but over time of practice, I have figured out what works and what doesn't, what stampers work, what scrapers work, what polishes work. You know, I don't really buy the, the super cheap stuff. I only really buy Born Pretty Polishes, Clear Jelly Stamper, and Manialogy Plates. I don't wander out of those because I know those work for me. Um, I have been meaning to try some other cheaper ones just to let y'all know my thoughts, but I just can't because <laughs> I get frustrated. But y'all see how I just picked it up on the one try? So I picked it up on the one try and I like the design. So I went ahead and I just put it straight on the nail. So now with the polish being black and the nail being black, it was a little hard to see the placement, but I got it in the center, well mostly. And now all I'm gonna do is take the flakes and just pat them in to the, to the design. That's literally it. The same thing we did with the gel polish nail. All we're doing is putting the flakes on the stamped design and just rubbing them in. Now you don't have forever because it will eventually dry. So you want to do it a little fast, but you have a little bit of time while, cause it's sticky stamping polish. And the only place that it's going to stick to is the part where we put the sticky stamping polish. It's not going to stick to the base coat or anything because we put that mat down. So the mat is going to keep anything from sticking to it. So, I mean, I'm going to clean it up later on the cuticle line, but you see how it just literally stuck to the hearts and the lines and stuff. It just stuck to the sweater design. That's it. So, I mean, it's a super simple design to do. The stamping would be the hardest part. Now, y'all, right here, I was like, I wasn't sure what I was going to do on the other nail, but I went ahead and decided to do the same design. So I needed to clean off my plate. I'm just showing y'all the, the reflect on it, the, the shift. I needed to clean off my plate. And then I made the biggest mistake I didn't, I forgot that these flakes were sitting right here open on my desk and y'all and I have been gonna, about to believe what just happened. I left it in so y'all could see that you cannot even breathe when you are messing with the flakes, right? You see how I just, I tried to blow my little plate. I just barely the smallest little bit of breath. I tried to blow the flakes 
I would try to blow my plate dry so that it would be ready to use. And I had those flakes went literally everywhere on my desk, everywhere. But I waited till the end to clean everything up. But I was just like, you know, that is so dumb. I know that. Heaven forbid you sneeze while you're doing this part of your nails. But like flakes will fly everywhere. There's still some around my desk that I didn't clean up because just left them. There's so much cleanup if you blow some flakes everywhere. Now this one, I picked it up pretty decent and I went to put it on. I was like, eh, it's at the edge of the thing. It'll be fine. And then I go to put it on and I got it a little bit crooked. But guess what? It'll be okay. It's my nails and I don't really care if it's a little bit crooked. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. It still look good in the end. But literally all I'm going to do is just press the flakes in and then... After I'm done, I'm just going to rub them just a little bit better. And then there is a little bit of polish. I know y'all saw the sticky stamping polish was hanging over my nails just a little bit over the cuticle line. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take an angled brush with some acetone. And I'm just going to clean up that edge because when I put my gel base coat and my gel top coat on, I don't want them to be... Uh, stuck because sometimes if you have stuff hanging over your nails it will cause lifting so you want to make sure that your cuticle everything at your cuticle like your color and your polish and your stamping and your water slides is all like secure at the cuticle line because if you put gel top pop, gel base and top coat over them then it can cause your stuff to peel and chip at that area so just make sure that everything is all clean so now I went ahead and I just cleaned everything up because I did it off camera because it's kind of redundant. Y'all have seen me clean stamping polish up before. So now I am literally just going to use a gel base coat and a gel top coat and finish up the mani. I did want to show y'all that the base coat fits into this nice little single thing. This duo, this nail set of the bottle holder and the finger rest is the perfect pair, y'all. Perfect pair. This color is Jade. So, I mean, totally recommend going on Liquid Layers. Use code ERICA15 if you get on Liquid Layers to save a little bit of money. The code is not a one-time use. It is a code for spending $15 or more. So, use ERICA15 on 15 or more. But, y'all, it makes stuff so easy. This finger rest, I'll show you. Uh, I think i show you in a little bit how I use it to hold my thumb in place. But I wanted to show you all the base coat because the top coat is the same payoff. But look at the gorgeousness of those flakes and that design. So, y'all, if y'all have not tried a flake, chameleon flake design or any kind of design like this, I totally recommend it. This was my first time ever attempting something like this. I've always watched it, but I've never been really brave enough to like go out on a limb and try new things. But I've been on a kick about trying new things lately and especially trying new things on camera for the first time. So if it turns out all right, I will pretty much post everything that I'm recording. But sometimes when it's a big fail, I will cut out certain parts just because I just don't feel like if it's my first time that I gave it a fair shot. So if the technique goes wrong or if something happens, I, I will redo it. And definitely still post it but I post everything I'll try I love trying new things uh, for the first time especially on camera because I'm always just like a little bit more nervous to do it on camera but I also plan on trying to do some lives and stuff like that so let me know if y'all would be interested in me doing a live on YouTube I do them on Facebook in groups but YouTube is kind of like it makes me nervous because there's so many people that could hop on and people troll and I don't like that but I went ahead and I did the thumbnail off camera and I'm just gonna put show you the base coat on there as well because I wanted to show y'all that finger rest look at how easy it makes it to hold like the finger rest is a perfect design to fit in your hand and just to hold the nail still instead of having to struggle to hold the nail still and this is real time painting the gel polish on because I wanted y'all to see how sturdy my thumb is. Like usually I struggle with keeping it sturdy and getting the edges and all that, but not with this finger rest. And my finger is able to rest, my index finger is able to rest on that diamond piece. It just worked out so amazing. And I was just really impressed with how sturdy my thumb was. This was my first time. I just received these items as y'all saw, and this is my first time using it. But now I'm going to go ahead and put the top coat on and then I will be all finished. Like that design really did not take a lot of time. The most time 
was the cleanup afterwards, which probably took me about 30 minutes to get the flakes up from everywhere and to vacuum and wash everything off and shake everything off. So here is the final design. Here is the final look. I love it. I usually do not like black nails or dark nails, but y'all, I have been wearing this for like four or five days and I am obsessed with this look. I am so sad that I took so long to try it and I really hope y'all try it too. I love that y'all have been joining me on this series and y'all have been commenting that you have been enjoying the art. Now I am opening up two or three days in my series for stuff that y'all would like to see. I did have a plan for every single day, but I wanted to open up my series to see what y'all want to see. So if there's anything in particular that you would like to see, you can either comment below or you can message me on Instagram, which is probably the best way to reach me or send me an email, but please let me know if there's something y'all want to see me do, or if there's a drawing or a painting that y'all want to see me do. Now kind of keep it not too hard because I'm not there yet, but I would love to throw in a couple of subscriber requests in this series that y'all want to see. So please leave them below. Thank y'all so much for taking some of your time out of your day to spend with me. I do hope that y'all have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see y'all in my next video. Have a good one.